Hey, today we're going to go ahead and create a Joomla account um, onto the GoDaddy server. Now, you're asking why would you do this? Um, GoDaddy does offer great support in the fact that you can have applications installed for you. Um, as the applications progress though, Joomla 1.6 might not do a lot of things that you want that Joomla 1.5 is capable of. So we're just going to go ahead and show you how to do this. Um, the first thing you're going to do is go in and enter in your um, login and your username. And you can see we're logged in. So we go to our hosting, hosting management. And then of course we have the screen that pops up. We want to go to moderatemadison.com and go to launch. And you can see all the different files, um, or the, I'm sorry, the dashboard for your hosting. Um, and you can see here on the right side, you have the opportunity to install applications to your hosting account. Um, like I said, this is really good if you got if you want to use like Joomla 1.6, or you can see here WordPress or Drupal or any of the other things are right there. Uh, we want to use the Joomla 1.5. We don't need to use the 1.6 just because for the customers that we're targeting, it's going to be easier for them to update articles and content with the difference between the sections and the categories. And we'll explain all that in future tutorials. Um, but what we're going to do is we're going to go to Content and File Manager. And then from there, you can see we're at the home directory, so we want to go to upload. We want to browse. And we're actually looking for Joomla 1.5. There it is. And so we're going to upload that. And this will just take a minute here just to get set up and whatnot. You can see it's uploading right now. And so now it's uh, uploaded. You can see the upload successful. So we hit close and we can see the Joomla 1.5. So um, it looks like I actually had one in here because I had done this once already. So we're just going to delete that old one out real quick. Um, this is the most up-to-date version. So we're going to click on this and we're going to go to an archive. Now it's going to ask you to select destination. There's a home folder here and that's actually a subdomain of the moderatemadison.com. Uh, um, so if you wanted to, for instance, put Joomla on that subdomain, you would just go ahead and install it in that folder. We want it actually to be on the root folder, though, so uh, we're just going to go there, overwrite existing file, and hit OK. And what's going to happen then is it's going to unarchive uh, that folder, so then we can go ahead and get started on our website creation. So now we can see that the folders are all in the into our um, hosting server. So now what we're going to do is go into um, the moderatemadison.com and this is the Joomla installation package. Uh, we want English for this one, so we'll hit next. Pre-installation check, that should pretty much all come up okay. Uh, terms of service, and now we're into the SQL connection. So what we're going to do is, for hostname, we're going to go back over to um, my account, and we're going to go back to the dashboard. And in the dashboard, you will see the databases. So we want to select on the MySQL. So now you can see we're over to the SQL. Um, so Moderate Madison is the one that we want to use. So we're going to go ahead and click on Setup. 
Um, and then you can see the host name is going to be this host source.com. So we're going to actually copy that. And for whatever reason, it's not going to let you copy the whole thing. Uh, not a big deal. Just go ahead and paste it in and then enter the .com. Username is actually going to be uh, the moderate Madison. And then the database name is going to be the moderate Madison. So whatever your database name is, that's going to be down here. And whatever your username is, that's actually going to be up here. And then you'll enter in your password to the SQL database. From that, click on Next. And it's connected, and it will take you to the FTP. Now, I don't actually use the FTP file system layer. You can use this if you want. Um, if you feel comfortable with uh, coding in Dreamweaver, especially now with the CS5 edition, allowing Joomla extensions in and things like that. Um, it could be helpful. Uh, I just personally, I don't care to use it very much. So go ahead and hit next. Another thing too, going, I'm going to actually skip back a little bit. Um, another thing too that's nice is what you could actually do is create a subdomain um, and then copy that SQL database over to that subdomain um, and then actually install new Joomla installation and then connect it over to that SQL. So that way if you wanted to try something new, you could try it without running it on your live site, which is kind of a downfall of Joomla. Um, but if you want to navigate it through that way, basically copy everything in the SQL into a new database and then connect the subdomain with that new database, and then test it, that's a perfectly acceptable way of doing it, really. Uh, we're going to go back in. Next uh, site name for this is going to be moderatesend.com. Email. Now you could install the sample data. Um, I personally don't care to. It, to me, it just kind of gets in the way. Um, if you don't know what you're doing, um, it's nice to have it. But if you do know what you're doing, there's really no need for it. Uh, so now it shows that we've actually set up the Joomla. So we're good there. One of the things that you have to do, however, though, it says it removes the installation directory. What you're going to do is you're going to go back over to your file manager. Um, and click on the installation and then click on delete and yes we want to delete the installation now we've got the website set up so if we go back over madisonmoderate.com hit forward slash administrator we now have madison moderate or moderate madison.com uh, your username, if you remember, um, your initial one is going to be the information that you entered in prior. And from there, it will take you to the home page, I'm sorry, to the administrative dashboard. Now, just to go back over, we could essentially, instead of going this route, um, just do a um, basically initial Joomla setup and basically that's just literally right in here so you would just go ahead and install apps um, and it would pop up and actually I'm just gonna click on Joomla and you can see basically install now and then it will walk you through the procedures on how to set that up so it just it will ask you for like your domain if you want it on a subdomain those sort of things um, and then essentially GoDaddy will actually just go ahead and set that up for you so that way you'll get an email back from them saying yep your installation is now complete uh, you can just go ahead and log in which would be like in this instance moderatemadison.com forward slash administrator and you would be all set up and ready to go and that's basically how you set up Joomla into a GoDaddy server